What is going on guys? In this week's video, I'm really excited. I'm gonna be showing you guys how I built out the back of my truck to sleep and camp in. It's really saved me a lot of money because I haven't had to book hotels when you're able to just sleep in the back of your truck, whether it's at a rest stop, at a really cool campsite, or at a really cool overlook. Uh, I've kind of done it all. So uh, I used to have my SUV built out and then I just built out my truck uh, a few months back when I got it and I've been really, really happy with it. So I'm just gonna talk about some of the specs of the truck as well as then kind of show you guys how I built it out, some of the um, storage space, as well as some of the key items that I bring with me. Hopefully this video will be helpful for you guys. I know that some of you may uh, be thinking about building out the back of a car or building out a car to sleep in. Um, so it's a lot cheaper than buying a van to build out the back of a truck. So that's what I did and this thing will pretty much get me anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the outside, talk about some of the specs and then I'll work my way inside and then and talk about the back storage area. So here we go, guys. All right, guys, so first thing is first, it's a 2019 Toyota Tacoma. It's got the six foot bed, which is key because I am right about six foot. Um, and I did get the two door, a lot cheaper, and I don't really need the extra doors in the back. The storage space is actually nice and sufficient in the back. So then we will move to the tires. I've got some BFG KO2s on here. They work absolutely amazing for off-road and on-road purpose. Works really well for me because I don't really get too concerned about getting a flat off-road. Um, and they also perform decently well on the highway. So that's what I've got for tires. So if you're wondering what this is on the front, uh, you might've seen it in that last clip there. This is my solar panel and one of my batteries. Now I lay the solar panel out on the windshield to get a little bit of sunlight in here. Um, and I'm trying to charge my battery up a little bit. This is my uh, one of two batteries. This is the smaller battery. Now, once we get on the inside and I apologize because it's a little bit dirty, I'm out on a trip right now. Um, what I like to do with the back, there's actually quite a bit of storage, especially on the other side, which you'll see in just a second. On this side behind my seat, I like to put my grill. This is just kind of my bathroom bag and then my duffel bag here with my clothes in it. Um, and then I will show you guys the other side. Then on this side is kind of where all the fun stuff is. So in the front seat, I've got some shoes down here. Uh, I've got a couple bags with some food in them and then I've got whatever I want handy right on the seat here. Then in the back seat, I've got the really fun stuff. Uh, I've got a couple of things with some photography stuff in it. I've got my big battery here and I've got my fridge here. Now these fridges are pretty cool. Uh, I'll open this up. Uh, you can see I've got a lot of stuff in the fridge. Uh, it's pretty much full. And this big battery here will run this fridge for probably three to four days without being charged. And then of course, when I need to charge it, that's why I've got the solar panel on the hood. So a lot of really cool stuff inside the truck. Now this is what the back looks like when it's all put together. Uh, I've got a lot of cool options in here. Uh, obviously I sleep right here. Um, one of the really cool things if I want to increase the size of the bed is I can remove all the stuff in the alleyway here and then I actually have can put a board here that leans right here and then it goes flat so that I've got a, a bed that's a little bit larger than it is right now and then that would allow me to put in a little bit bigger mattress than what I have which is just my single mattress right now. One of the really cool things that I like here is the food drawer. This slides out. You can see I've got some food. I've got a cutting board. It's kind of messy right now. I just went down a dirt road, so it really bumps stuff around. But this is where a lot of the other food is, is in here. And then I've got some storage uh, in these two spots here. The way that that works is you just have to flip both of these notches up and we'll see if we can reach the other one here. And then this just completely comes off. And in there, I've got some other stuff, some less needed stuff, um, but I do like to put stuff in there. And the latches are really key because then it makes it so the stuff does not bounce around on the dirt road. Uh, and this thing right here, the wood on the top doesn't bounce around. So I've also got some storage in the back. I'm gonna show you guys, I need to remove the bed. So give me just a second to remove the bed and then we'll hop back on. And this is what it looks like without the bed. A little easier to see everything now, uh, but I wanna show you guys the cool storage back here. So uh, the drawer only goes as deep as right here. And then now once you get back in here, we've got these holes and I can use those holes to pull this up. And this is where I have a lot of stuff that I don't use a lot. You can see up in the front there, I've got a lot of stuff for when you get stuck or if your tires need air or whatever. And then down here, I've got some extra batteries and some different cooking utensils and stuff like that that I don't use that frequently. So. Uh, and then in the back corner, usually I have to put my dirty clothes back there. Uh, you can see I've got my computer sitting here right now. Uh, sometimes that changes. And then, of course, I've got the water here. So lots and lots of storage. Of course, this right here uh, is one whole section, but I have the lid in two pieces. Um, so a lot of storage. I'm thinking about building a drawer over here on the side, but this works really, really well for what I need to do. 
Now, when I built this, I essentially put um, a big uh, board on the bottom here that you can see, and that board will allow me to build on it. So everything on here is built on the board. You can see these pieces that are sticking up uh, that is connected to this board on the bottom. And then it's all wood and then carpet is stapled on top of some of the surfaces just to make it a little bit smoother. Um, I really like having this edge next to the bed. It kind of gives me a wall next to the bed, which works really well. And then, like I said, I can put another board on top here to make the bed go all the way over. And that piece has carpet on it as well. So lots and lots of space. And this is all done using wood um, and, of course, some screws and different tools like that. All right, so just a couple more things that I wanted to mention now that I put everything back in here. First of all, uh, this sleeping bag is really, really nice. I just recently got it. It's from REI. I can't remember the name, but I will include it in the video description. Um, and this thing is nice because it unzips on both the left and the right. It's super big and comfy. It's down to 20 degrees, which works well for almost anything that I'm gonna sleep in my truck for. Um, and it's big, long and wide. You can see, maybe you can see, uh, it's a rectangle rather than a mummy bag which I use mommy bags for backpacking and um, I like to be able to have a comfortable bed when I'm in my truck at least. And now the other thing that is in here that's really nice is you probably can't see it, but there's an electric blanket that I put in the bed and it plugs into this car cigarette lighter, which happens to plug right into my battery right here. I just plug it into that battery. Um, and then in the middle of the night, all I have to do is hit the button to turn on the blanket. The blanket is just a cheap one off Amazon, which I'll also link below. And that one stays on for a half an hour or 45 minutes, depending on which setting you use. There's no like hot, medium, cold temperatures. It's just one temperature, 30 or 45 minutes you choose. And then you just have to push the button on the battery to turn it on. So that's really nice to not only preheat my bed, but if I wake up in the middle of the night and I'm cold, I can just simply click the button and I get 30 or 45 minutes of warm blanket. And it's just a click of a button right next to me. Now, if you're wondering if I'm just the ultimate handyman, I am not actually. I was fortunate enough uh, that my grandpa knows exactly how to build all this stuff like this, and he was able to help me. We made a plan and we built from there. So we drew up our plans, figured out all the dimensions, and then we went from there. Uh, I was fortunate to have someone with all the tools in my life because I personally don't own very many tools. So if you're looking to build something like this and you don't own tools, try and find someone that does own tools. That is my best piece of advice for you. And try and find someone that has built something like this before, or really built anything before, because there's a lot of things um, that you are going to make mistakes on if you haven't made those mistakes on other projects before. So overall though, this is a really, really nice way for me to be able to spend the night in the back of my truck, really wherever I'm at and spend the night comfortably. Alrighty guys, really hope you enjoyed that. Like I said, I'm gonna put links to all of the items that I mentioned in the description down below. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to reach out and let me know. Thank you guys so much for checking out this week's video and we'll talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye.